<sighs> well, this is a Christmas present and a half. Hello, everyone. My name is GamePenguin21, and today we're going to be reacting to Crap Gamer's attempt to reconcile with his old community of Xbox people. Now, for those of you who do not know who Crap Gamer is, let us commence with the long and awaited history of this. Essentially, Crap Gamer, in no uncertain terms, used to be a Microsoft fanboy. And he still kind of is a fanboy in that regard. That's what people call him. That's not what he calls it himself. But he has, for years, touted the amazingness that is Microsoft. If you couldn't hear the sarcasm in my voice, let me repeat that. He touted, for years, the amount of amazingness that was in the Xbox and Microsoft. That was until, of course, Mr. Jim Ryan. Was it Jim Ryan or Phil? I keep forgetting with, with these guys, but it was until Microsoft and the official guys, and he replied to a tweet that he made where he inevitably said that he was canceling his pre-order because Quantum Break was coming to the computer or the PC platform. And he canceled his pre-order because of it, got called out on Twitter, and then immediately switched teams to the blue side in order to continue making that shmoney or whatever off of views for PlayStation and stuff. And then he touted for years how Microsoft was bad and they were anti-consumer and all this other crap. It's actually on his videos. And it's amazing. People have responded to him a lot, but he has recently again switched sides and is now getting shit for it. Oh my god, it's almost like a repeating history or people remember shit. Oh my god. Yeah, again, that's probably the most that I'm going to be about this, but this is unfortunately really fucking angering, at least to some people. Kind of to me. Because there's a particular tweet that I will be discussing later on in this video while reacting to this commentary. But we get ahead of ourselves. Let us commence with the video in question, shall we? The video is titled, So now Xbox and PlayStation fans hate me. What exactly do you want me to do? And what's weird about this is that his entire, every letter that I've now realized about this intro is capitalized, even though it's not supposed to be, or it's, it's very weird, very clickbaity. Anyway, let's get crack into it. Oh, yes. Gotta love that crap gamer intro. It's the best. Uh, it's honestly really good. It's kind of upsetting, you know. Of course, I didn't expect people to flock to my channel or to do anything like that. But I did expect some couth, I guess. I expected some people to, you know, just be a little bit more adult about things. Some couth. Some couth. We're only 22 seconds in, by the way. I still need to react to a lot of this. So I'll try to keep as quiet as possible. But couth? How the heck am I not supposed to call out Kuth? I don't even know what that is. American education system, but folks. Accept an apology, uh, you know, things maybe kind of get back to normal. And, uh, you know, I haven't really seen that. I actually see a lot of hate ramped up in some of the comments and stuff. I know I haven't replied that, uh, but I do read some of the comments and was, I was a little bit disheartened, I guess. Like I had stayed away from checking on any of the videos and things like that and now it's just one of those things where you know maybe I did myself a disservice by going and reading them I'm not expecting things to I guess go a certain way regarding the channel but it is a little bit upsetting that now I have PlayStation and Xbox fans both kind of pissed off at me and I wonder why that is I really do it's almost like if you play shitty games you win shitty prizes this is your shitty prize. I'm sorry to say. But you tout for years about Xbox being the best. 
often you tout for years about PlayStation being the best, while misinforming the other side inevitably completely, while saying you are still kind of the neutral in this scenario, giving your opinions or giving the facts about reporting this sort of news stuff. Even though, again, these are highly opinionated, unscripted pieces that you just say off the cuff, which you repeatedly continue to do. Whether or not you script your stuff now, because you got rid of that unscripted content thing, is irrelevant. You're still making, even at the time of this video that I'm recording, you have put out three videos within 24 hours of each other. Within one day, you made three videos. And you will say later in this thing that no one else was putting out this much content to people. Boy, I checked your your entire like history on the channel from 2011, which was like the height of YouTube. At 2012, people were putting out daily gameplay content for Minecraft that was getting more views than you were. Moving on. Uh, and I've not really been hating on either one. I mean, I've been pretty quiet on social media. Uh, I mean, I'm still doing titles that are like, well, this is really good for Xbox and could be damaging to PlayStation, but there's not like hate. In let's look at some of those titles, by the way. Let let let's let's seriously take let's seriously take a, a, a good old a good old fashioned look here at the titles that we have uh, here. So let's just take a look at some of these ones right here. Let's just take a look at some of these. So, <laughs> I scrolled down a little bit here. Hold on. There we go. At the time of recording, within 24 hours, this has been 20, 22 hours. So, one, two, three. Like I said, there's your, there's your proof right there. Anyway, so, let's take a look at some of these. Sony fans think Microsoft for thanks thank Sony fans thank Microsoft for huge PS5 what for huge PS5 announcement Xbox is making PlayStation better seems like you're kind of going backwards here a little bit Microsoft stuns the world with an Xbox announcement that should be that should have Sony terrified Microsoft's massive Xbox News that PS5 will never be able to match. No wonder. Switched. What? Uh, I'm playing more Xbox Series S, X. No, fucking misreading that. Then PS5, because of this news, Microsoft is doing things right. But if we were to go back, you can... Yeah, and this one is like, you should buy an Xbox Series X. If we were to go back a little bit, here we go. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Ah, here we go. Surprise announcement destroys all Halo and Xbox hype. Microsoft in a lot of trouble. Are you kidding me? And then he has this one as well, where it's Sony, PS5 is bigger than Forza and Halo combined. Microsoft just lost customers. And in the very next video that is uploaded within the same time frame, Phil Spencer makes a shock Xbox announcement in Sony's face. Xbox gets a huge win over PS5. Oh my god. And then again, again as well, in that same time frame, Microsoft wins me back to Xbox with amazing announcement, with amazing anniversary news. The community wanted me back. <sighs> I think you can see what I'm talking about here. The community didn't want you back, bro. You just decided to come back. And your titles don't reflect the things that you're talking about here, or the the good con the the quote unquote good content that you're making. I'm sorry to say the community didn't want you back. They were happy, and they enjoyed it. And they enjoyed everything. Anyway, continuing. <laughs> there towards PlayStation is just saying, hey, this is competition, it's good, 
maybe hopefully PlayStation can come back and do something to counter that. I don't know. So, it, you know, it's a d- disappointing for me. Um, I do think that obviously, you know, like I guess stopping doing YouTube, it seems like what the majority of people want me to do. Um, if, if that's the case, then I guess that's the case. You know, it does sound up to me a lot like that is exactly what people, you know, like obviously there's, when I first started doing this, I, I think there was very few and very few podcasts. I mean, there was a lot of YouTubers, but I don't think there was a lot of like dedicated YouTubers. Dedicated YouTubers. Yeah. So this brings up my earlier rant. He's been a member since 2011. And in 2011, Minecraft started to become huge. And in 2012, it exploded. And people were making daily content, not necessarily about him, but daily content about gaming. What you're doing sir is an original gaming news and news in general hasn't has been a thing since radio and reporting the news to the people has been a thing since radio in all honesty in all honesty just i don't want to say you should stop making youtube videos or stop posting on on this because I don't want that and I want to take this time to be more constructive because I've been joking at you at a lot but I'm bringing it down to a serious level now I'm, I'm being actually serious what you need to do is do the same thing that I recommended to hippo zone I mean, when I made a comment on hippo zone thing on hippos on hippo on hippo's channel I made a comment about how he was p- taking a break but he yelled at me Saying, oh, I can do whatever I want. Like, yes, I'm not saying that. I was asking about that break. But I think that you should take that break. Take a break. Stop posting content. For, like, not even... You don't even need to stop posting content for a full time. Like, a full, like, 24 hours, I guess. But I'm what I mean is... It, like, I don't mean take a 24-hour, like, day to, to, to yourself. No, 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 no. I'm saying take so- several weeks probably a month, maybe two, and legitimately look at what you're putting out here. And this kind of brings me into the fold of, if you've noticed, my little icon in the corner, and that should look a little familiar unless I cropped it out, but my little icon of my YouTube channel should look a little familiar. Yes, that was me that responded to the comment that you made about Sony. And I wanted to just explain this and use this as a kind of little platform to get on my soapbox and tell you that you are wrong, sir. You were legitimately wrong. When you made that tweet about specifically that you can't be forced to make games. Here's the thing, sir. Gaming is very passion-driven, yes, but when corporations get involved, like Sony, like Microsoft, like Nintendo like Sega, a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head, when those people get involved, games can suffer. Why? Because they're corporations and they set datelines and timelines where things need to happen, when gaming itself is more of a flux development. If the developers are also the publishers, they have a lot more freedom to do things. Let me give you an interesting example. The example is No Man's Sky. That game launched awfully, and it launched in a state that was just plain disgusting. But it launched that way because the entirety of Hello Games felt pressured to keep that deadline, and they were and they they needed to ask for like another year probably to make that game better, but they couldn't because again they were already set because Microsoft Sony Sony not Microsoft Sony came to them and and made an investment and said you are making this game let's see it happen and they were pressured into doing that more or less or they at least felt pressured into doing that and then once Sony got their money they kind of dropped hello games it wasn't a ps it wasn't a PlayStation exclusive it wasn't like a big thing or an issue but it, it inevitably came back to bite people in the ass. But once Hello Games was given that freedom to work on the game, to make it better, to, to address bugs, it became better and better over time. Same thing with Cyberpunk 2077. 
although it's a different example because it was it was published by more of the people that were up at the corporation but that's not the point the point is that in the no man's sky scenario sony pretty much pressured hello games into forcing them to create this game and deliver it on time because of a contract they signed legal agreements binding contracts and contract work is more or less a job and you can be forced to do things in a job that you don't necessarily want to do that is what a job is i mean do you go to walmart or wherever the hell you work and say i'm gonna do everything i like this job a lot okay cool but not everyone's like that. There are people out there who I hear complain about their jobs all the time. I complain about going to school or going to college half the time. But I still go. Because I know that it's my job to do that. People have jobs. People are forced to do things. I don't want to be in college right now. But I kind of have to be. We have to do things that we don't want. And making games can be one of them. Yes, indie developers are always looking for, for employment and for work, but those are indie developers. And yes, if they are making games for, like, let's say, Sony already, that doesn't mean that they want to do that for all time. Look at Insomniac. They were making games for all the platforms and stuff, and they were making games for Sony, but they had an Xbox exclusive of Sunset Overdrive. Yes, it wasn't the best, but it still was very fun to play. And it was an Xbox exclusive, not a PlayStation exclusive. And it looked like there was actually some passion and some love behind it. It looked like there was a game that I, they actually wanted to make. But then they were bought out by Sony and there's no more of Sunset Overdrive 2. Oh well. But you won't complain about that. Anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox right now. That was my little rant on, the, on that tweet because it's been bothering me for a while. I'm going to be honest. That was a little bit that was a little bit unnecessary. I'm sorry. But to be fair, again, take that break. Don't just sit there and do stuff. This is probably gonna go in twenty minutes, but let's continue watching this. Putting out daily content or anything like that, and now it's like everybody and their mother is out there, you know, doing YouTube and, and giving their two cents and stuff like that, which I think is fine. Um, you know, for me personally, if I were to say uh you know what, what what do i wish or what do i want i would just want people to kind of give me a chance you know don't come here and immediately dislike a video uh you know listen to a video see if it's something that you like uh, that i said leave a like if it is like don't just watch with hate in your heart right away and go oh, well it's a crap gamer video i guess i better go ahead and uh you know <laughs> and dislike it and say something ignorant and ignorant and rude in the comments you know like that's the thing that kind of um you know is is the thing that's really a little bit disheartening hmm it's almost like those people are trolling just a little bit they might not be but again if someone brings up let's say legitimate criticism like i did or legitimate criticism like other people do constantly on your channel don't you think you should might maybe, you know, listen to those people and understand that your content isn't the best and understand that your content itself can, you know, be better if you were to listen to those people? I don't know. Just a thought. To me, I think, to say the least, uh, you know, I would hope that, you know, a lot of you guys are better than that. And, you know, I'm trying to better myself. I, I, I think that the content is getting a little bit better. Maybe I should ask you guys what exactly it is that you want to see um you know if it's not biased not non-biased uh uh video then then what you know like i would just love to see something from people to you know to, to let me know exactly what it is that you would like to see from me like maybe that's something that i didn't ask and that i probably should have asked but um for me personally i just think that it's um one of those things that is just a little bit frustrating and as I changed and as I was kind of doing things and kind of coming to my own thoughts and and ideas behind what I wanted out of my channel and then to see so many people just to, to continue to hate um, I don't understand it you know I, I just wish that you would kind of let it go the way that I did like listen I understand a lot of people are still pissed off because of the way I was or the way that I uh, felt about Xbox, but for me personally, 
um, you know, I felt that way and I let go of that hate and I'm enjoying a bit of everything now and it's just, um, you know, where I'm at. I don't want to go back into the whole, you know, <laughs> ridiculousness of the, the whole console war. I mean, and yet your intros and your thumbnails and your titles say the exact opposite. I know. I, I, I'll, 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 hit, I'll hit you with the scroll again. I'll hit you with the scroll, not with the audio of this this time. But look at this scroll. Look at all these titles that are like, PlayStation destroys Xbox, or Xbox destroys PlayStation. People don't want that. I'm sorry to say. People don't want that. If you report on a story, good. Just don't make it clickbaity, because that's what big publishers do to try to get people to get views and stuff. I don't know that you're going to probably see this as me punching up at you, but trust me when I say I don't care. I don't care what numbers mean. I mean, I would probably be saying this about you even if I had 2,000 or 3,000 subscribers or three times as many as you did. I'm saying that you switching teams isn't what the problem with your channel is. The problem with your channel is you. Because you flipped for one stupid reason, and then you flipped back for another different reason. that I don't even know what that reason is, and I don't care to look it up. But you flip-flopped between Microsoft is the best for years and years and years and years and years. And then it's now Sony is the best for years and years and years and years and years. Now it's again back to Microsoft is the best, but now you're more middling. Weren't you the guy who said to beware of gaming neutrals or gamer agnostics, as you called them? Was that you? I think that it was. But here's the thing. Most people are gaming agnostic, which means that they don't care about things like exclusivity or the best of everything. They just want to be given information and you, my friend, give misinformation. And you're not the onion. All right? You're not. Sorry to say. I mean, it's a little bit fun, and I like kind of poking fun of things and doing some comparisons and this stuff. But overall, I'm just done with the little, with the, a lot of the pettiness, like the stupidness, right? Like that to me just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I do hope that um, you guys understand where I'm coming from. I just. Uh, you know, I put a lot of work in these videos. I mean, the videos, thousands and thousands of videos that I've done. And, you know, really all I'm asking for is some likes and for people to just give it a fair shake. Really? You put a lot of effort into capturing gameplay, recording your audio, finding your non-copyrighted music that you use all the time, taking your intro that you can make in, like, Clip Maker in, like, 30 seconds than ranting into a microphone for 10 minutes at a time. Do, do I need to show you the, the screenshots of where you had three videos made in the same 24-hour time span that I recorded this, this audio? Three videos in one 24-hour time span. That, to me, doesn't seem like you're taking a lot of time to for each video if you're making them on this daily and also if they're unscripted. If they were scripted, you would not be making three videos in a day. How can you write three videos in a day that's scripted or at least doesn't have like some bullet points that you want to talk about? I have a couple of videos on the back burner that I've been keeping back there for years because the script just, just does not come together. I'm only making this video because this video is easy to make because it's a reply to yours. I'm already at like 20 minutes and this is, this is like a six minute video. Jesus Christ. Let's get through this video. Fuck. And I don't think that's too much to ask for. I would, at least I would hope not after, you know, maybe at one particular time you really enjoyed my channel or maybe you didn't. Um, you know, but if you did, like, just give, give it a chance and, and see maybe there's something there that can uh, spark some kind of interest or, or something, you know what I mean? So hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from because at the end of the day, um, this is one of those things where, you know, I'm, I'm just really, 
I don't want to say stressed out because, you know, this is my hobby, but my hobby should be fun. And, you know, when everybody's just kind of refusing to let go and, um, you know, uh, just being very kind of, I think, harsh, uh, you know, I, I, at that particular point, I think I have to say, you know, like, what's the deal? You know, I would just love to, to really get some kind of, um, you know, gauge, I guess, on where exactly I stand with the community. If it's nowhere, you guys just all want me to quit or whatever. Hey, you know, and I guess that's that's an option too. You know, and that's not just oh well, he's just you know. I'm, I don't feel sorry for myself. I had a hell of a run. Like I, I've said this multiple. times. I wouldn't say you've had a hell of a run. I'd say that you've had more of a prolonged run of just people are telling you to quit, but you're like, no, I don't want to quit. People have told you to do that multiple times. I'm not going to tell you to quit. I'm just saying other people have. I'm going to say, for me personally, from my mouth, these words. Take a fucking break. All right? I'm not talking about just taking a break from making YouTube videos. I'm talking about taking a break from the internet. All right? Do that. Take a step back. Realize that this is coming from a place of love and understanding as to why someone would want to create multiple videos in a single day. I've done this. It's not pleasant. So I need you to just think about doing that. And don't just relapse and try to try to say like, oh, everything's fine. Because everything's not fine, sir. What you are doing isn't helping your channel grow. What you are doing is still participating in the console war. You might say that you don't want to do that, and you might say that you're not, but your thumbnails and your video titles completely say the opposite. The content of this video alone is just you trying to have an appeal to pity. It's a fallacy that you're trying to pull over the people and they're not having it anymore. If you want to stop making YouTube videos, stop making channels, I want that to be your decision. But I'm telling you, at the very least, take the next month, probably like sometime in January, after the, th after the new year, take a month, four weeks, at the very least, four weeks, and just stop making videos, stop posting on Twitter, and just do research and look at some of the complaints that other people have brought forward to you. Internalize them, understand where they're coming from, and f at least for me, even though I've gone on a couple rants and I've insulted you and stuff like that, and that's on me. That's because I got angry in this video, especially because... It, it just sometimes, and that tweet really kind of got to me because you're like, you're downplaying people who have done crunch, downplaying people who have done, who have lost the will to go on making and doing what they love because of this pressure and just saying, oh, they're always constantly looking for work. They're looking for work that can help them and inspire them. All right. I drag out these videos way too long. Anyway, let's continue on like I, i've said this multiple times it's a hobby of mine and if it ends tomorrow it ends you know like all good things come to an end i had a really good run i've done a lot of things i've said a lot of things i've caused some controversy uh, that i didn't mean to cause and obviously um you know things probably will obviously will never go back to the same but i do want to just give it a little bit more of a chance and say hey you know not give up you never know when you're close to a breakthrough you know unfortunately um you know when it comes to youtube it's hard saying exactly what the deals with it in terms of people getting notifications or um you know some people i've had message me say i tried to like your video or tried to share your video but it says that it's made for kids or whatever even though none of my videos are uh made for kids but you know it kind of is what it is you know and I try and I keep trying. Nobody can say that I don't I, that I haven't kept trying or that I don't keep trying. Like regardless, you know, I take all the jokes, all the BS, all the stuff that people want to talk about, and, and I just kind of roll with it and and kind of let it be. And it's you let it be in the way that a cat lets a mouse be when it runs across with a broken leg. Just unfortunate that you know so many people just hold such a grudge 
uh, you know, when I don't. Because think about this, right? Like, for those that think I'm a flip-flop or whatever, um, that's fine. But when I was hard on PlayStation, you know, a lot of people were pissed off, a lot of PlayStation fans. And then when I'm, like, talking up PlayStation because I was enjoying it more at that time, you know, a lot of those fans were able to kind of get over it and forgive and become viewers and stuff, you know. And I don't understand why some of the Xbox fans and stuff can't do the same right now. It's because you betrayed them. I don't think that you understand that. You're saying that you're not a flip-flop, even though the whole reason that we understand it today, that you flipped to Sony's side, was because you didn't like that Quantum Break was coming to the PlayStation. Or, no, not coming to the coming to the PC. And then... The corporation behind it, I think, again, I don't know if it's Phil. I keep forget, I keep messing up if it's, if it's Phil or Jim Ryan. One of the two, whatever the fuck, whoever was in charge of PlayStation and whatever at the time did the thing that made you angry at Xbox and Microsoft. And then you completely flipped sides. You can tell the reason why people think you're a flip-flop. And... Xbox fans won't forgive you because what's to stop you from doing it again? And now Sony fans are upset because you're now going back on your word. And Sony fanboys have been up in arms because there's they're, they're very protective of their thing, of their of their way of life. The whole Pegasus Nation thing. You know about Pegasus Nation? Yeah, you're saying that like people can forgive and forget. It's like, no, they forgot. They they were there and they were basically forgetting that you were this Microsoft shill for years. They 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 didn't care so long as you were sell selling them the thing that they wanted to be sold. But Xbox fans have now wised up to your ways, and it's not going to be good for you to try to integrate yourself back into this community without at least changing a lot of your content to be more gamer agnostic as you would put it or to quote you again keep that same energy yeah i said it and to the same right now i just love to see a spot where you know people can just kind of get along in the comment section and maybe just say hey you know what uh i think you're uh, uh you're, I think you're a good guy, you know, and, and I'm, I'm willing to give you a, another chance or whatever. That's really all I'm asking for. You know, that's that's pretty much basically the extent of it. So, um, you know, I know a lot of you probably are thinking, oh, well, one thing or the other, and I understand it. But, you know, at the same time, I really just want to see things kind of uh, progress and, and, and in a positive way. And it's unfortunate that it seems like a lot of people aren't willing to give me a chance. So... Um, let me know what you guys want to see, man. You guys want to see more reviews. You guys want to just see less videos. You want to see no videos. You want me to just leave YouTube. Uh, whatever it is that you guys want to do, just let me know. Here's the thing, Mr. Crap. They gave you a chance. And you blew it. They gave you a chance. And you blew it. You blew it. Completely and utterly out of the water. You're hoping to pull, like, I don't know, a mini lad thing. Where there was a huge controversy surrounding him. A huge amount. And you're just hoping that people forget about it. Unfortunately, they're not. But here's the thing. I am nothing if not someone who can eat their own words. And I will say this, again, if you take that break, whether or not you choose to is your own opinion or your own whatever you want. I'm just saying it would be good and beneficial for you to just take a break, take a month off, calm down. But people don't just forget when you flip sides on people. And I am going to say that I am willing to give you at least somewhat of a chance. Not sure how much of that that's going to work, but I'm at least going to say, so long as you keep that same energy and you keep that same energy flowing through your body and understand that keep that same energy 
in this context is actually a positive thing and not like a negative jab at you. In this context, you need to keep that more neutral energy and stop with the clickbaitiness. Stop with the Xbox destroys Microsoft. Stop with the console war. Stop with this. Stop with that. And just not what you're doing. And stop trying to appeal to people's pity. You're appealing to my pity and I'm kind of falling for it. But people have Other people have given you way more chances than I have. But I'm willing to give you one last little chance to just say, take a break, stop posting videos and content, internalize all the courtesies that you got so far, and improve your content accordingly. That's all that I'm asking. And I think that that's all that anyone could really ask of someone who just doesn't listen Hippo Zone didn't listen, and he's now gone. I gave him that that whole thing of like, please do this or whatever, and it's like, uh. anyway. There's 30 seconds left for this thing, but I've done. I'm done recording for this day. Anyway, uh, that was a long one. There was a lot of rants in there, but if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching because this is my Christmas present to you guys. And yeah, that's really gonna be it. My name is GamePango21, and I'm going to see you all in the next video. Peace off.